Okay, I uh, posted the uh, earlier video, and this one's just a um, part two or part A or however you want to look at it. A B, I don't know. It's just a follow up of the previous video. Um, <coughs> so to pick it up, I um, she had a, my endocrinologist had increased my estradiol to four milligrams um, after like the third month because my blood work was was good. Uh, like I said, I did have some bleeding and I did have to go see another doctor and, and get a handle on what was going on there and um, try to get, she did prescribe some vitamins, some fish oil, um, some, what else did she prescribe? Uh, some iron, um, some aspirin, and just those and some daily vitamins. So just um, I throw those in my regimen on a pretty regular basis now um, just to try to keep a balance of some sort going that they're looking for. But anyway, um, so my health as far as the blood work goes is, is turning around and getting more ideal of what she wanted to see or find. Um, then, on my last trip to the endocrinologist, um, blood work was, was good once again, and my testosterone levels have each time been falling as they should, and they're getting down there where she really wants to see them, but they're not quite where she wants them. So that's still being, uh, um, you know, it's still decreasing, and um, she as well increased my estrogen intake to six milligrams of estradiol. So now I take six milligrams a day and the continued regimen I was on previous. So um, as far as HRT goes and the researching I've done and the other people I've spoken to in regards and many of your um, videos, enlightening me of your processes and your regimens, uh, putting it all together and discussing it with my doctors, my therapists, and everyone that could give me any kind of insight. Is one regimen more effective than the other? And these are all things that, that we really want answered and really want to see um, <coughs> results from because we want these changes to take place and we want them to take place right now. So they never seem to be enough, right? Um, we want those big boobs and um, I'll talk about what's happened to me that's been positive for me that I've identified. Um, shortly after beginning my HRT, I was pretty tired all the time, um, kind of lethargic. I needed my naps, I needed to take naps and fatigued easily. Um, I think it was Spiro, the anti-androgens really doing a number on me and my testosterone probably dropping rapidly. I think that might have had something to do with that um, fatigue factor. And um, my diet was, was good. I, I was actually eating all the time. I like to eat. I'm so skinny anyway, I can use some pounds, and Lord knows I want some TNA, so that's all fat distribution, and <coughs> we all have body fat content and to a certain degree, some more than others, but we all want that going to the right places, correct? And so that's TNA, to be quite honest. <laughs> so anyway, we all want nicer hips, and I'm only noticing, again, I'm, I'm very early in my in my hormone therapy, but I am noticing subtle changes. I've got little bulges on my hips. Um, my ass, my box has, has gained a little weight, but not much. It's still small. I used to have a tiny little ass, but at least I have a little bit of one now. And it is taking, um, I think, more of a female form, a female shape, which is a good thing. I hope it continues. That would really be awesome. Um, <coughs> my skin uh, later, as I started, you know, maybe um, 
about six, eight weeks into the hormones. I think I started noticing that my skin was starting to change. It was, it was getting like transparent or translucent or something. It was almost thinner. Or it was definitely softening. Um, so that was noticeable and continues to be. The further I get along, the more noticeable my legs and arms and chest and just everything is softening, and which is really nice. Um, it's a nice change. And, you know, I wasn't a, a, an extraordinarily hairy person, but I did have a lot of chest hair. I did have, you know, some facial hair if I wanted it, but I usually kept myself pretty clean shaven. I had, you know, hair on my arms and my legs. But I've been shaving my legs for some time anyway, but it would always come back. I'd always, like every time I took a shower, I would shave my legs, right? Well, after starting hormone therapy, I noticed that my hair doesn't come back as quickly. I can go weeks without shaving my legs. It's wonderful. And, and my arms, the hair hardly even comes back anymore. You know, I shave them every once in a while, but there's really no hair on them. Um, I don't have hair in my armpits. and I do need some electrolysis on my face. Um, it's expensive. You know, I'm pretty limited. I've been going through some really tough times the last couple of years, like a lot of people have. I've lost just about everything I ever had. And I'll get into that in another video sometime. This is a huge setback for me. But anyway, back to it. Um, you know, these these are some of the positive things I've seen taking place, you know, in a, I feel in a short period of time. And I'm pretty excited about it. I, I do hope they continue. I know and understand that they are going to start subsiding or slowing down, maybe. Um, but I've been conversing as well with my endo about possibly switching my my program to injections. I've heard so many different uh, comments back and forth that, oh, injections are the only way to go, that orally things weren't happening for me, and I switched to injections, and wow, you know, right away I noticed these differences. So maybe, maybe not, maybe that's true, maybe it isn't, but, you know, I'll try anything. <laughs> um, injections, I'm not afraid of the needle, so bring it on. Let's, you know, I, I've discussed it with her the last time and she didn't feel that, you know, we should go there for whatever reason. She just, uh, she liked my regimen and said, let's just increase it now to six milligrams and, and follow your blood work and see where things go into your next visit. So maybe next visit, who knows. <laughs> uh, I'm following the medical advice of my doctors. So anyway, um, Again, I think age and physical um, fitness and things like this, body chemistries may have something to do with the decisions that the doctors make. I don't know. Um, I'm just looking for results, as we all are. Um, and, you know, from a hormonal perspective, I know they're only going to be minimal. I can't expect too much, but I'm, I'm very flattered with what I've seen so far. And... And how I feel, I mean, I feel, I didn't touch on that, um, better. I feel much better. Um, I can do a whole video on that and probably will because I'm running out of minutes. So I'm going to end it tonight and pick up, you know, probably tomorrow, uh, more on the subject. I hope you enjoy the videos and, you know, any questions or comments are definitely accepted or, or um, welcomed. <laughs> I hope you're all doing great, and like I said, this is open to discussion, and I can discuss this all night. Um, I'll talk to you all shortly, and just hang in there. Hope everyone's doing great, okay? Bye.